Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, India, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy channel and also the specific today's class is regarding the BMS students, third year BMS, or maybe sometimes second year BMS, Swastha Vrutta subject. Swastha Vrutta subject is parallel to the PSM, Preventive and Social Medicine subject is also there in the MBBS course. We are very lucky, we are very fortunate. Ayurvedic people are very fortunate in the sense, Ayurvedic students, we learn both. We learn Ayurvedic aspect of the prevention of the disease and we also learn the modern aspects of the prevention of personal and social uh, well-being. So, my dear friends, today's topic is Swastavrutta Paper 2, Part A. And there is a title, Ku Prasangaja Vyadhi. Uh, spelling mistake is there. Ku prasangaja. Ku means bad. Ku. Please write down this word. I will suggest some words are the keywords. So my dear friends, you must understand. Ku. Ku is a white. Bad. Ugly. So these are non-ethical type of the activity by a person. Non-ethical type of activity by a person is called as ku prasanga. Very simple. Bad activity by a person, non-ethical. It is not accepted by the society. And because of that activity, that means sexual activity, the person is getting some diseases and they are called as a ku prasangaja vyadhi. In Swastavrutta subject, in modern science, they are called as a STD. Sexually transmitted diseases. These are plural. Sexually transmitted diseases. They are also called as venereal diseases. Okay. So let us start with the uh, topic. I will mark some points whenever we are discussing so that you can concentrate on that points. So here you can see bold, sexually transmitted diseases. Mainly, main, main, very important. Of course, you know, HIV or AIDS is a classical example or a very fatal disease in this sexually transmitted disease. If some uh, examiner will ask you, tell me the big list of the STDs and tell me one disease which is having no cure, it the person will go going to die. Maybe within 5 years, maybe within 10 years, maybe within 20 years, but he will definitely die. Try to understand. And that particular disease is HIV or AIDS that we are going to see. So these are some other important diseases, syphilis gonorrhea, chancroid, and etc. So, sexually transmitted disease, that is STD, is a short form. They are transmitted, can you see, bold, by sexual contact. So, I will request, whenever there are bold words on the screen, please open your notebook, each and every viewer, every student. And then, at the last, in the comment box, you can write me, Sir, I have seen such a patient. Or uh, this about this patient I have heard about. Or there are some my difficulties, sir. Because in this topic, there are hundreds of difficulties in the mind of the student. Not because for the exam purpose, but for the life purpose. And for the treating the patient. There are hundreds of the your queries. So you can definitely ask each and every query about these sexual transmitted disease in the comment box. Okay. So you write down in your notebooks. First, give the title, Sexually Transmitted Diseases. I will take small pause. Then write down these important names. Spelling, syphilis, gonorrhea, and chancroid. But here, not these only three, etc. Next, you write down, only bold, huh? transmitted by sexual contact. Okay. Now, which organisms? There may be bacteria. There may be virus. There may be protozoa. There may be fungal. So four types of organisms are there for these diseases. I am going to tell you which organism for which disease. That is 100% asked in the viva. It is also asked as SAQ. I have seen that SAQ. Write down the diseases and the organism. The name of the organism. That we are going to see. But here you write down bacteria, virus, protozoa or fungal. See always my cursor minutely. Now, there is a progress of the science. Oh, 
So last 20 years, there are a lot of changes. Every time there is a research and update, research and update. So there are the synonyms. Pariyai Navu. They are the same names. Some people, some doctors will call as VD. Previously, in my olden days, it was called VD, VD patient. That is venereal diseases. Actually, the test, laboratory test, blood test that we do for this particular all group of the uh, diseases, we do. Please write down the name of the test. Test, test name, VDRL. Please write down. V D R L capital every day. This is the name of the test of the blood. And you can ask the patient to do this test. Patient don't know what is this test. You just tell him that just I want to check your blood. Don't tell him that ah you are a STD patient. I want to do VDRL. No, 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 no. Don't tell anything. Because your clinical diagnosis is a provisional diagnosis. When you confirm by some test, that is confirmatory diagnosis. Remember my words. Okay, so VDRL is a blood test. You, the patient can go at any time in the laboratory. Only one or two cc blood will be taken. Report will be given immediately in the evening. VDRL positive, that means the patient has ST. What is the VDRL full form? Please write down VDRL full form. Venereal Disease Research Laboratory. Venereal Disease Research Laboratory. Laboratory. Many, many, even doctors, they don't know what is VDRL. Uh, so, research laboratory. They are also called as STD. Previously, it was, uh, I think, remember some STD booth. Huh? Telephone. Hello, hello. Uh, for contacting to the foreign countries or the out of state. Now, we have the mobile. So, STD booth. That is something different. But this is sexually transmitted disease. In the beginning, there were only five classical diseases. You can write down the name, please. Please write down. Very important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Below. Syphilis. First name. Syphilis. Second, gonorrhea. Cursor is there. Cursor. Gonorrhea. Then, chancroid. C-H-A-N-C-H-R-O-I-D. Then, lymphogranuloma venerum. Big name. Lymphogranuloma venerum. Don't write this name because it is not nowadays very uh, common name. So, don't write down this name. Only gonorrhea. Syphilis, gonorrhea, chancroid, lymphogranuloma, venera. Now, these five diseases, now there are a lot of new invention and uh, discovery. And today, we have nearly 20 problems, 20 diseases in the STD. Previously, it was only five. Now, there are 20 causative agents, different agents. They are causing the specific diseases, also clinical symptoms. So, this is a second generation STD. Very important word. Can you write down, please, my dear friends? I will give you the curse here. Please write down this name. Huh? Second generation STD. Second generation. The, like an antibiotic. First generation antibiotic, penicillin. Second generation, third generation. Okay. Now, we will go further. And I will mark for you. The important topic, I will mark for you. Now, first you write down only the title. First you write down the title. Extension of the problem. How much it is spread? Huh? All over the world, this problem is there. All over the world. That is called as a global problem. Huh? So, this is a global problem. Okay? So, minimum estimation of occurrence. All of the world. Statistics. Statistics. Genital chlamydial infection is 92 million people. See? So, this name you must remember. This is a very important name. Cursor is there. I will wait. Clamadial, C H L A M Y D I L, clamadial infection, clamadial, C H L A M Y, the biggest. Then gonorrhea, can you see? 62 million. Statistics, then shank, uh, sorry, syphilis, 12 million. Write down this, clamadial, 92 million. The whole world, huh? then gonorrhea, 62 million. Okay? And then syphilis, 12 million, and chancroid, 7 million. Okay? Now, in India also, this is a big problem. And see, here you can see, more in the Aurangabad state. Now it is Sambhaji Nagar. Maharashtra state, lot of patients are there of STD. Sambhaji Nagar, previously it was called Aurangabad, and also Kerala. These two places, the more prevalence. Can you see this word, statistics word? Prevalence. Prevalence rate is more. 
gonorrhea is more than syphilis okay chancroid soft chancre is also widely prevalent okay now we will go further now first you have to give the title my dear friend don't forget the title please 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 okay third point our discussion third point you write down this epidemiological factor please write down this word epidemiology this word is very important in swasthavritta epidemiology that is how much it is spread in the geographical area which organisms are there how it is spread incubation period everything now this topic is very important for saq it is already asked in the abhs examination so to take itself now write down disease and the pathogen i will wait it is like a dictation syphilis treponema pallidum very important syphilis treponema pallidum gonorrhea nigeria gonorri nigeria gonorri chancroid hemophilus ducri very complicated name but interesting hemophilus ducri make a screenshot i will always recommend the people when you are seeing any video of dr deshpande always keep the mobile and make a screenshot so that automatically but i had never provide the free uh, notes because the student forget the habit of writing that's why you must write down by your own hands and that will give in your brain only taking and copying the pdf files that is no use own handwriting is very important for the student so chancroid hemophilus ducri l now next generation of the bms course you have the mcq multiple choice question and in the mcq this is very important they will ask you which organ even you do the md and ms this is objective type of question lgv lymphogranuloma venerum and urethritis is chlamydial trachomatis this is very important infection Ch chlamydial trachomatis and aids is caused by hiv virus why hiv is the name of the virus huh? hiv is the name of the virus now i will shift my cursor or the screen on the right side of the page okay so just give me few seconds to go up here we are can you see again big list but only important are there genital herpes is also std yeah? that is the virus is herpes simplex is the name of the virus herpes simplex genital and anal genital means our penis in the uh, in the vagina in the ladies and anal anal region anorect anal is the opening na for the defecation anal warts are there that is human papilloma virus human papilloma virus very common for the ladies also genital molluscum contagiosum very big name this is std yeah? sexually transmitted diseases genital molluscum contagiosum molluscum contagiosum is the name of the organism vaginitis fungus infection candidia albicans white discharge will be there in the ladies it is very common leucorrhea white discharge candida albicans then vaginitis because of the trichomonas vaginalis these both are the fungal infections then acute and chronic hepatitis because of the hepatitis b virus of course this is not the uh, of course this is a std because uh, it can cause by the sexual transmitted uh, uh, contacts okay now we will go further just important things i would like to highlight now host which are the patients the age group what is the age group of the patient so maximum patients are between 20 to 20 year old it is not like that that means 50 years person may not get like this he will get remember my words even at the age of 40 even at the age of 60 the, any person any person can get it but the maximum number of patient is from the age group of 20 to 24 year old person male and female both okay morbidity rate is higher for the male but remember morbidity is more severe in the women by more complicated they are having a lot of complications the most important in the ladies female patient pelvic inflammatory disease very dangerous pelvic inflammatory disease okay now next social factors we will go further social factors you have done the title social factors Prostitution is a major factor in the spread of STD. 
Veshagamana in Marathi. Huh? That is a, a sexual sex sex workers. Sex workers. Prostitution is a major factor. In the developed countries, the professional prostitute has been replaced by the name good time girl. Another name, I don't know, but in the foreign countries, they call it as a good time girl because the male may be get happy with enjoying with the sex with the opposite gender, girls or the females. Sexual, dis what are the now causes? Why the people go outside? Extramarital affairs. So sexual disharmony is also the cause of married people with strained relationship, stress is there, divorced people, separated person who are often victims of the STD. These are the people. In developing countries like India, prostitution is the reflection of poverty. So why the ladies come for this business or in this occupation? Because the ladies are suffering from poverty. Next, emotional immaturity. The young chaps at the age of 18, 19, 20, just for the fun. So emotional immaturity is also a social factor in getting the sexual transmitted disease. Urbanization. Lot of Netflix and the social media. There are porn films. This uh, yellow pages type of the material is available. So by reading, by watching this sexual activity on the screen, they are getting stimulation. Young age, 18, 19, 20, 21. Testosterone level is high. So urbanization and industrialization set another type of lifestyle, having the long working hours. The people are tired. Then relate to isolation of the family. Separation. Only a wife and a husband, only one child, and then that is both are working. So there is a negligence towards the care of that child. And these things happen. Okay. Foster casual sexual relationship. Okay. So these are some of the important causes that I wanted to tell you. Now, we will go further. So first, there is a big chapter on the AIDS. We will discuss for very, very major issue. So write down the big title. This can be the LAQ. Describe AIDS or HIV. AIDS means, what is the full form? Write down. Write down. Acquired. A means acquired. Immunodeficiency syndrome. Immunodeficiency. Vyadi pratikar kshamata. Immunity becomes low. Okay. HIV. Acquired. That means it is not natural from the God. Natural from the father and mother. It is acquired. That means you do the unethical things and then you get the disease. This is also called as a slim disease, thin. Person becomes weight loss, is severe weight loss at the last stage of the HIV. Like only the body remains like a skeleton. No muscle, no fat, only skin and bone. Only skin and bone at the time of death to the HIV patient. Very, very bad. So this is called as a slim disease. This is a fatal disease is caused by retrovirus and that is called as a human immunodeficiency virus so you both full forms must be remembered AIDS means acquired immunodeficiency syndrome syndrome is a group of symptoms lot of symptoms are there and disease caused by HIV virus human immunodeficiency virus this virus breaks down the immune system of the person this person then vulnerable for life threatening infections. Vulnerable. Anytime he can get any infection because there is no immunity, no fighting, nothing. Okay. So let us move further. I will go on the next page and I will shift my cursor on the left side. This just I am doing to make it a bold. So opportunistic infections. This word is very important. Please write down these things. Bold are there. Opportunistic infections. For example, neurological disorder, brain problem, nervous system problem, unusual malignancy, cancer will occur. Cancer will, but unusual, not normal. AIDS indicates the last stage of HIV infection. The ideally, we should call HIV infection. And AIDS is only the last stage of the disease. Next, we will discuss, you write down this name, problem statement. Problem statement. HIV is an emerging disease when it is started in 1980s. 1980. This is the beginning. Okay. And now there are 32.2 million people are living with HIV in 2007. This is the old record. 
okay globally all over the world unprotected unprotected word is very important unprotected without condom without anything uh, not taking care so unprotected heterosexual not homosexual homosexual also get but heterosexual route is the most prominent route of transmission of virus so the examiner will ask how it is coming into your body because of the unprotected without condom heterosexual route other methods not only this but there are two other methods unprotected penetrating sex between men men to men huh? that is a uh, homosexual injecting intravenous injection drug abuse drug abuse unsafe drug transfusion or injections the drug addicts people they live in the group they are unemployed having the poverty they share the drugs amongst themselves and pick take use the needle of the friend and get it pricked so that is very dangerous the prolonged time period between the now the next important point i would like to inform you about this thing just i will mark first and then we will start the prolonged time period between infection of the hiv and onset of diseases please write down infection when you get the sexual contact immediately on that day on that date on that day at that time you get that entry of the hiv virus entry immediate huh? but the symptoms will occur maybe very late after 10 years after 5 years after 11 years huh? so onset of disease average 9 to 11 years in the absence of treatment is the major cause of spread of disease because the patient is unaware unaware that he is having this biggest problem and he go on continuing sex with the wife go on continuing with the sex with another girlfriend and the disease going spread on spreading and spreading spreading so incubation period is very long incubation period is very long now mortality rate is the highest the people die in the age of 20 to 40 years along with this hiv infection tb bacterial infection the hiv patient always get tuberculosis always actually this is the tragedy some years back our from india we are removing the tb eradication total but because of the again starting hiv these people also starting getting the tuberculosis so again tuberculosis is existing in india because of the spread of hiv apo infection because immunity is low so you can immediately get the mycobacterium tuberculosis infection okay then malaria are the important cause hiv related morbidity in africa hiv is a major health problem in sear countries south asian this is the second most affected region in the world india thailand indonesia and nepal where the maximum cases are found these are the countries india thailand indonesia and nepal my dear friends i would like to go further slowly and steadily no hurry and worry okay ah, see on the 1st december 2003 you can get the latest record in the google also ah, who announced a plan to reach 3 by 5 target by providing anti retroviral treatment this name is very important art treatment anti means opposite ah and retroviral treatment and retroviral treatment art based on the surveillance data three groups are formed group 1 high prevalence states like andhra pradesh maharashtra tamil nadu and karnataka group 2 moderate prevalence states that is gujarat goa group 3 is a low prevalence rate that mp and up and andhra pradesh shows the highest prevalence means occurrence hiv patients are maximum in andhra pradesh okay next we will go as a epidemiological facts please write down this point epidemiological facts this is first point agent to begin with the virus was called early beginning lymphoadenopathy associated virus now that name is gone by the french scientists researchers in the usa called it as a human t collars cells i am sorry t t is the name of the cell lymphocyte t huh? lymphotrophic virus 2 forget about these names and lastly the virus the final name is hiv1 and hiv2 these are the present names 
so you don't need to remember previous name now hiv1 hiv2 the virus is easily killed by the heat the virus is formed in greatest concentration in the blood in the semen and in the csf these are the three fluids please write down the fluids blood maximum hiv viruses are existing in the semen they are present and in the cerebro spinal fluid they are present okay now i have to smooth on the right side so please give me few seconds i will go up and here i'm sorry i think i should go here okay and in lower concentration that hiv virus is found now here we will make this okay concentration in the tears there are also hiv virus, but very few now forget about it saliva breast milk urine and cervical vaginal secretion very but but chances are there point not 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 1% if you get the contact for example the kissing saliva maybe if the lady if the person is having std you can get but very rare very rare breast milk urine and cervical vaginal secretion okay host most cases are seen in the gray goes to 20 to 49 years certain sexual practice increase the risk of infection for example when the risk will increase multiple sexual partners please write down multiple sexual partners and intercourse and male homosexuality male homosexuality okay we will go further for the next topic we are talking about hiv or the aids we will talk about i'm sorry immunology here immunology write down this word immunology the immunology vyadhi pratikarak kshamata fighting capacity the immunity problem is with the hiv is many time related with which cells are having problem so name is t helper cell write down this name cursor is there t capital t helper cells and that is called as cd4 cd4 uh, that this name this count blood count this you can count in the blood this is a blood test cd4 count very famous cd4 count so these are the t lymphocytes which is commonly known as cd4 plus cells cd4 plus cells hiv infects the t helper cells apart from b cells lymphocyte b lymphocyte t these are the names lymphocyte b lymphocyte t but here hiv is affecting on lymphocyte t t macrophages and nerve cells a decreased ratio of t helper cell that means gradually cd4 count becomes low to t suppressor cell is an indirect indicator of reduced cellular immunity in the patients of aids profound lymphopenia this word is important penia means count will be less slowly slowly the count will be less okay now next important is a mode of transmission can you see we are discussing very important points from title mode of transmission sexual transmission most important write down vaginal anal or oral sex can spread hiv or aids hiv infection aids is a disease usually women are more vulnerable to hiv infection why because larger surface area is exposed and semen contains higher concentration of hiv than vaginal or cervical fluids okay so these are lines are very important now here you can see anal intercourse has a higher risk of transmission due to injury to the tissues of receptive partners huh? in vaginal sex the risk is more when woman is menstruating in teenagers the cervix is less efficient barrier of hiv than that of adult women okay thinning of mucosa at menopause may lessen the protective effect so there are a lot of chances then in std like syphilis chancroid or herpes there is ulceration in the genitals or perineal region of the uninfected partners then it becomes easier for hiv to pass into his or her tissue so anywhere if there are abrasions uh, there are ulcers 
where in the mouth in the uh, in the on the penis in the vagina whenever anal region whenever there are ulcers you can get definitely these stds okay next uh, transmission factor write down this blood transfusion very important we know the blood transfusion is always needed especially whenever the patient is suffering from bleeding dyscrasias any uh, bleeding problems like for example uh, when the clotting factors are less then there may be hemophilia then there may be purpura thrombocytopenic purpura these patients ne they need the frequent uh, blood transfusion 99% every blood bank is very careful before giving before taking any blood they always test for hiv or aids but if some where some uh, rural areas some mal practices because of the only money then they can avoid this particular test blood transfusion aid is transmitted by contaminated blood that is transfusion of the whole blood cell platelet count only sometimes like a dengue fever you receive only platelets factor 8 and factor 9 these are the clotting factors derived from the human plasma among drug users drug addict patient who inject the heroin cocaine and other drugs blood route of transmission is common because exposure is repeated so often needle sharing by the drug users is a major cause of aids any skin piercing like injections ear piercing also can get affection of this hiv now my dear friends again you can allowed me to move the screen on the left side to talk about tattoo tattoo you know the tattoo various people they unhygienic or unsterile instruments are used then this can <coughs> excuse me kind excuse me tattoo acupuncture also can transmit the virus now my dear friends about we are talking about transmission of hiv or aids next point third mother to child transmission hiv virus can pass from infected mother to the fetus through placenta or even during the breastfeeding remember these two causes breastfeeding also so mother should not have the hiv or aids then if she has by chance of course there is not a big uh, what you can say the crime but proper care should be taken about that child by the gynecologist by the family doctors all these things they must know this there is no evidence that hiv can hiv virus can be transmitted through mosquito this is something myth m y t h fault understanding wrong understanding or any other insect casual social contact with infected person like if you make a shake hand with the hiv no problem don't worry don't be panic don't get upset or hugging no problem no problem or by food if you are sharing little bit food or the water no problem at all don't worry about it suppose a hiv patient has drunk this drink this water by some vessel by some bottle and if you take this bottle and again drink that water nothing will happen nothing will happen b and these misunderstanding are very much in the society also you can write down your uh, problems in the comment box i will answer those particular your problem sometimes directly over there sometimes i will ask you to whatsapp me okay next we will discuss about the hiv clinical features okay clinical features this is our topic okay this is our topic incubation period is uncertain that means after getting hiv virus entry into the body on which date on how many days it will take to start the symptoms so there may be few month like 1 2 3 month or even 10 years or more this period is from that is called as incubation period this word is very important in all the diseases discussion in the swastavrutta subject hiv infection to the development of full aids student should note the withdrawal period is different then the incubation period uh, i am sorry i am sorry window period in the hiv window period is different than the incubation period okay clinical features are classified as follows initial infection some immediately after entry of the virus hiv the after one month after 15 days there may be fever there may be sore throat rash 
develops after the few weeks after initial infection of virus. Once infected, infected people are infected for lifetime because there is absolutely 100% cure is not available. By allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy, nothing. Naturopathy, no permanent cure. HIV antibodies appear after 2 to 12 weeks, that is 3 months, in the bloodstream after initial infection. The period before antibodies are produced is called as a window period. This question is always asked in the examiner, oral, oral. What is window period? What is window period? So write down this word, window period. The period before antibodies are produced is the window period in which a person is infectious because of the high concentration of virus in the blood. This is the most risky period because sometimes there may not be any symptoms, but the patient has virus inside the body because in this period, the diagnosis is not confirmed. Patient is unaware of the disease, so he can spread the disease to his wife or the other person. So window period of AIDS valley, window period for the HIV is very, very three month window period. So that is that period is very dangerous, unsafe to the other people because the person is not knowing he is having the problem. Okay, we are talking about the clinical symptoms. So next group is asymptomatic carrier state. Infected HIV virus is in the body. But people have the antibodies, but no other signs of the disease except persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. Some people, patient may get here the lymph gland enlargement, cervical lymph gland enlargement, axilla, axillary lymph gland enlargement, inguinal region, inguinal lymphadenopathy or lymph gland enlargement. Okay, intermittently. AIDS related complex is called as ARC. A person with ARC, that is symptoms caused by the damage of the immune system but without opportunistic infection and cancer associated with AIDS. This is called as a AIDS related complex. These illnesses are unexplained. Sometimes there may be loose emotions to these patients lasting longer than a month. But that diarrhea is not controlled by your normal treatment of diarrhea. You are treating, you are giving some anti-diarrheal medicines, but he will not stop the diarrhea. Then there may be loss of more than 10% body weight. This is most important. Weight loss is very, very important in HIV. Fever, then there may be night sweating, only nights, lot of sweating will be there. Fatigue, tiredness, malaise, and mild opportunistic infections like oral thrush, cancer, ulcer will be there. Generalized lymphadenopathy, just now I have said, cervical, axillary, inguinal, etc. And enlarged spleen, splenomegaly. Patients from high risk group who have, not, who have two or more of these illnesses and have de decreased number of T helper lymphocytes are called as patients of AIDS related complex, that is ARC. Now, now, last stage is AIDS. This is the stage, end stage of the HIV infection. A number of problems are there. Now we are going to discuss turning the screen on the right side. And here you can see. I'm sorry. Okay. Opportunistic infections commonly occurs at this last stage. Death is due to the uncontrolled or untreatable infections. TB and Kaposi sarcoma. TB will be there. Kaposi sarcoma will be there. Early serious fungal infections like oropharyngeal. All these are very important. Candidiasis, cryptococcal meningitis, parasitic infections like pneumocystic, carini pneumonia will be taken place or toxoplasma encephalitis is prone to occur. These are the last diseases. So, these infections are common when P helper count has dropped CD4. CD4, write down the name, CD4, blood test. Around 100, the count becomes around 100. When the count goes below 50, patients suffer from opportunistic infections like cytomegaloviral retinitis. So, these are the last stages. CD4 Count below 50 is near to the death. 
Okay. Next, many patients with AIDS are affected by wasting syndrome. Weight loss will be there. So in Africa, this is called as a slim disease. It involves the chronic diarrhea with severe weight loss. This is a printing mistake, sorry. AIDS encephalopathy, AIDS dementia, loss of memory, which is caused by HIV crossing the blood-brain barrier. Blood-brain. They are entering into the brain. Blood-brain barrier. There is a actually wall-like uh, imaginary thing, but this is lost. Okay. Now we will see how we can diagnose the patient. So this is called as a diagnosis of AIDS. The next topic is diagnosis of AIDS. Okay. WHO definition of AIDS surveillance. AIDS is a diagnosed at least two or the major signs are present in combination with at least one of the minor signs. So what are the major signs? Weight loss greater than 10% of the body weight. Chronic diarrhea more than one month intermittent or constant fever for more than one month. These are the major signs. And which are the minor signs? I will mark for you minor signs, my dear friends. Here you can see minor signs. Okay. Persistent cough <laughs> with more than one month. Generalized pruritis. Itching will be there. Dermatitis. History of herpes zoster. Oropharyngeal candidiasis. Fungal infection. Chronic, progressive and disseminated herpes simplex infection and generalized lymphadenopathy. Next. Now, there is a clinical staging. WHO clinical staging system for HIV. Stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. Stage 1, asymptomatic. There will be not any symptom but persistent lymphadenopathy. So, whenever the patient comes to you, for lymph gland enlargement, think of HIV. Stage 2, weight loss. Any patient comes to you for weight loss, 2, 3, 4 things are important. Write down those things. One, you suspect TB, tuberculosis. Always do the X-ray or MRI. Number 2, always. Second important, cancer. Do the basic uh, blood test. Number 3, TB, cancer. Then another weight loss, maybe diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus. Number four, malabsorption syndrome. And this is the most important, that is HIV. Weight loss, more than 10% body weight. Oral ulcerations and herpes zoster. Nagin, huh? that is called as a herpes zoster. Stage three, weight loss greater than 10% of the body weight. Unexplained chronic diarrhea of prolonged fever. Oral candidiasis, that is also called as a thrush. Oral hairy leukoplakia, white patch. And pulmonary uh, pneumonitis. We will see that. Okay. On left side, we have to shift. Can you see here? Tuberculosis infection. Stage 4. HIV wasting syndrome. All the symptoms together and wasting will be there. Only skin and bone remain. Pneumocystic carini pneumonia. Kaposi sarcoma and HIV encephalopathy. Now, Laboratory diagnosis. Blood test. Blood test. Can you see here? Blood test. The first kind of test is normally ELISA test. Write down the name E-L-I-S-A. ELISA test. But write down ELISA test for HIV. ELISA test for HIV. This usually comes positive after the window period of three months. But before that, you can do one test. There is also one test you can do in the window period also. Uh, P24 antigen test, P, write on this name, 24 antigen test, which indicate HIV replication, viruses replicating, multiplication. This test come positive even prior to the zero conversion. But this test is costly, costing near about 750 rupees. The confirmatory tests are Western blot, W-E-S-T. These all tests are asked in the oral examination. Western blood test is a blood test, is a highly specific test. This is based on detecting specific antibodies to the viral core protein. Okay. Next, CD4 lymphocyte count is very important test in the last stage. People with healthy immune system, we, we people are having CD4 count as a 950. 
when this count is below 200 that is something very dangerous and if it is below 50 patient is nearly going to die okay can you see here this one when the count falls below 200 cells per mul p carini prophylactic therapy is immediately started last therapy is started now how to manage this hiv infection management of aids this is very important for swastavrutta because swastavrutta prevention is better than cure. So, what you can do? Education to the people. Health education is help people for life-saving choice. They have the choice. Avoid indiscriminate sex using, use, uh, use the condoms. IV drug users should avoid the sharing of needle and syringes. Women suffering from AIDS should avoid becoming pregnancy, should be avoided. Now, prevention of blood-borne HIV transmission. Blood should be screened, tested for HIV-1 and also for HIV-2. That all the blood uh, donation laboratories or blood donation centers, they must have this facility before transfusion. Transfusion of infection to hemophilics. I have just now mentioned there are some patients like ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopurpura, then hemophilia. They require frequent type of blood transfusion. Can be reduced by introducing heat treatment of factors 8 and factors 9. There is a heat treatment, specific treatment. Next, can you see? Anti-retroviral treatment. Today, there is no vaccine for cure in the treatment of HIV infection. The development of drugs which suppress the HIV infection itself rather than its complication are, is important. Now, we will see another part of these things. Now, we are just a moment. I am on the four. Yes. This antiretroviral treatment is not a cure. Remember this. But useful in prolonging the life seriously ill patient. Last stage of the patient. So, with some examples of these particular antiviral medicines. If possible, you can remember these things. For example, zero viewing. Zero viewing. Simultaneously start writing. This is a dictation. Retrovir is a brand name. This is a generic name. Generic name, brand name. Generic name, brand name. Now there is a generic medicines are cheaper than the brand names. So you can get his generic name in the uh, government hospitals. 600 milligram orally in two divided doses. Then Lamivudin. Lamivudin, that is Epivir brand name. 150 milligram tablet, one tablet morning, one tablet afternoon, BD. After food, Tinofovir, Tinofovir, generic name, and Vired is a brand name, 300 milligram once in a day. OD means only one time. Then Navy Rapin, that is Viramurin, 200 milligram OD for two weeks, and then 200 milligram BD. So these are something about anti viral medicines. Now, we will talk about the post exposure prophylaxis. Post exposure. By chance, if you get the infection, huh? this is needed for the social workers because some nurses, some uh, doctors, they are always working with the HIV patient. Police people and some military people, rescue workers and refuge collectors. So all these people have an accidental chance to get. Suppose there is a uh, lady or the person who is collecting our day-to-day, uh, -day, what you can say, the doctor's uh, waste things like uh, uh, biomedical waste. And if by chance some needle is there and that needle is uh, because uh, used for the HIV patient and that needle is get picked to the so that people who are collecting our waste. So they will get accidental type of the infection, but immediately we have to treat that patient. ARV, antiretroviral treatment for this particular PEP should be started as early as possible after exposure within the first few hours and not later than 70 hours. If you use it after three days, no use. Whenever you have suspicions that I have may get this infection, immediately start within 72 hours. HIV test should be done after three or six months to confirm that we have not that person has not got that particular infection. Now, specific prophylaxis. Primary prophylaxis against P. carini pneumonia should be treated with trimethoprim sulfamethaxazole. 
the brand name is brand, um, what you say we we i have used many times this for the different infections that is called as a bactrim ds huh? cd4 count goes below 200 you have to use this medicine prophylaxis against mycobacterium tuberculosis is a 300 mg isoniaz head daily for 9 months to 1 year this is the end of the discussion of hiv so make a straight line finish now we will discuss in short about the other diseases of uh, std so first another disease is a syphilis very short huh? patient this patient syphilis patient complain ulcer of the urogenital tract penis ulcer vagina ulcer ulcer may be in the mouth in the oral sex ulcer may be in the rectum homosexual people many times these ulcers are not painful this is the most dangerous about syphilis according to me because when i was practicing 40 years back the patients were there syphilis patients were now the uh, patients are very less but at that time these patients are not found why because they have the problem but they don't come to the doctor and heal automatically but then in the later stage skin eruptions develops and sometimes complications of heart cardiovascular system and nervous system takes place i have seen some patient after marriage the husband comes uh, they together family comes and say this is having some tremors while uh, putting any plate or eating or taking the tea he has a tremors and when i see some details i found that this may be the patient of syphilis i immediately asked to do the vdr test and it comes positive when i asked very seriously confidentially to that patient whether you in the young age at the age of 16 17 18 19 did you have any ulcer on the penis he said doctor sorry yes i had visited to prostitute and i had that ulcer so that comes after the detailed in, uh, inquiry or counseling to the patient okay but then in later stage this is the nervous system complication it is called as a tabis dorsalis in our days the syphilis was primary syphilis secondary syphilis syphilis and tertiary syphilis so when it is a secondary or tertiary it's very difficult to treat but in the primary stage 100% treatment is available with penicillin especially penidure long acting penicillin la12 or la24 we had to give one injection in each buttock remember this thing la12 penicillin the name of the injection penidure p e n e d u r e penicillin but always remember penicillin injection should be given after sensitivity test after test dose otherwise the patient will die not because of syphilis but with your penicillin prick because there may be anaphylactic shock anaphylactic shock is a such a condition that if the patient is having uh, allergy to that particular medicine after giving prick it is called as a prick death immediate low blood pressure severe perfusion and heart is stopped so very careful uh, pen, uh, this penidure penicillin injection you must do the uh, sensitivity or the test dose number 2 this is not concerned with this std but remember impheron injection impheron i m f e r o n for anemic patients iron injections are also causing anaphylactic shock and common another very common is the injection neurobion or injection polybion that we give for the diabetic neuropathy tingling numbness in the hands that injection also can cause anaphylactic reaction and patient can die on the table itself so be careful while giving this injection of course you we have to give but after test dose remember this okay next congenital syphilis is main cause of stillbirth useful antibiotics are penicillin erythromycin and doxycycline so ulcer is common in the syphilis but non painful remember i'm sorry so gonorrhea uh, this is the inflammation of the genital tract gonorrhea but it is very easy to find out this patient please give me some time few seconds my dear friend uh, this is inf inflammation in the urethra we are talking about gonorrhea this is for gonorrhea please write down gonorrhea symptoms gonorrhea gonorrhea okay specifically this inflammation is in the male and women both cervix and rectum in the women other sites are pharyngitis and eyes congenitivitis 
complications of the disease in women, there is a pus discharge. This syphilis can be hidden. Patient can avoid to visit doctor because non-painful also. But gonorrhea patient has to come to the doctor because there is a pus discharge from the urethra, pus discharge from the vagina. Pus, pus, pus is coming. Secretions are there and undergarments are always sticky, dirty with that secretion. So the patient having severe burning, urinary tract burning, urethritis, severe burning. The gonorrhea patient cannot keep themselves quiet in their house. They has to come to the doctor and it is rather, I think it is beneficial. 100% patient is cured. Huh? Okay, complications, PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, increased risk of ectopic pregnancy, infertility, chronic pelvic pain. In the main, complications are Sorry, there is uh, some problem in the video in between. Okay, no problem. Infertility, chronic pelvic pain. In men, complications, inflammation of epididymis, subfertility and urethro stricture. Stricture occur because of the gonorrhea. Now, next disease, STD. Very short, chancroy. Write down the name. This is also common. Small papule develops at the site of inoculation, that means urethra within two to three days of exposure. Very quick. Today you visit to a prostitute and within three days, the papyrus will be there. This lesion erodes into ulcer is formed. This is extremely painful. Syphilis, no painful ulcer. Sorry, not pain. Without pain, ulcer is there. But in chancroid, ulcers with pain. Also painful swelling of one or other lymph node that is called as a bubo. Spelling mistake is there. Sorry, bubo takes place. Useful antibiotics are ciprofloxacin and azithromycin, that is AZ 500. Next, we will go for the next disease, lymphogranuloma venerum, LGV. Patient complains of swelling of the lymph nodes in the groin and small painless ulcer. Again, but what is the difference? If it is, there is no lymphadenopathy, no bubu, but here painless ulcer, but there is a lymph node in the inland. So you can differentiate, differential diagnosis. In the genital, 3 to 30 days after exposure, in untreated patients, extensive lymphatic drainage damage takes place, resulting in the elephantiasis of the genitalia. Okay? Useful antibiotics are erythromycin and doxycycline. Next disease, fourth disease, STD, granuloma inguinal. Can you see? Fifth disease, granuloma inguinal or granuloma venerum. The first symptom is development of small papule on the genitalia after this is an incubation period. Three to four days, you have to make a chart, organism and incubation period. It ruptures and also symptoms to form granulomatous region, which is without pain, but bleeds easily with the contact. Useful antibiotics, azithromycin and doxycycline. Next is a chlamydial infection. Can you see chlamydial infection? Many times there are no obvious symptoms except burning micturition. No ulcer, no swelling, only burning in the urethra. Remember, and it continues. You take a sitar, you take any other thing, but that burning will not stop. Okay, so burning is a main thing. Burning is a main thing in chlamydial infection. Many times there are no obvious symptoms. If symptoms occur, they are similar to the gonorrhea. Complications are urethritis in the main and sterility or infertility in the woman. Antibiotic, specific antibiotic is there that is Doxy 100. Please write down Doxy 100, one tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening for three weeks. Minimum three weeks it should take and azithromycin or azithromycin. Then trichomoniasis, this is fungal infection, cause vaginitis and vaginal discharge. Leucorrhea is there, white discharge. Many times there are no symptoms in men, but people suffer from urethritis. Useful medicines, antifungal infection, metronidazole and tinidazole. Tini 500, tini 300 tablets are available. Now there is a viral infection that is called as a genital herpes. This is caused by the herpes simplex virus type 2. These are typical papular regions which progress the multiple blisters and ulcers. These ulcers last for three to four weeks. Antiviral treatment is useful to shorten the duration and relieving the pain. HSV2 infection is a lifelong 
lifelong infection. My dear friends, let us move on the right side of the screen. So here you can see. Sorry, yes. Recurrent ulcerative episodes can take place. Next infection is a human papilloma virus, HPV. This is called the anogenital warts, W-A-R-T-S. This is warts are there. Try to understand. Warts are there. Okay. This causes the anogenital warts. They vary from soft flesh colored protuberance, which may become cauliflower like or drier areas like shaft of the penis. These warts can be observed anywhere in the genitala, including the perianal region, even in those denying anal sexual intercourse. Try to understand. Complications is cervical cancer caused by the subtypes of HPV. Okay. Now, management of STDs, last part of our today's lecture. Just I will shortly tell you how you can manage the first is a case detection. Screening of the special groups. Screening of the special groups. Okay. Should be done frequently. Pregnant women, blood donors, industrial workers, army and police, prostitutes, hotel staff, all these blood tests should be done. Then case holding and treatment. You have to diagnose the cases and you have to start the treatment. Okay. Dropouts are very common. Dropouts. The people don't take the complete treatment. Then personal prophylaxis. Use of the mechanical barriers like condoms and diaphragm should be recommended. Exposed parts should be washed with the soap and water immediately after contact. Today, only hepatitis B vaccine is available, but maybe in the future, vaccine should be invented for other STDs. Health education is the most important thing for treating of the STDs. So my dear friend, this is all about, there is some problem in the videos. I don't know why it is problem, but uh, this is the end of the lecture and we will see in the next video. Till then, I wish all the best. Take care and uh, see you. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. All the best.